Hello, my feline friends. This is Yuna Kitten. In our last episode, we concluded our ranger quest line and ran some side missions. To conclude the ranger quest line, we confronted Ron Hope of Hope Tech. Pax and Hole of the first implicated Ron in being the orchestrator of the activities the first were involved. Ron admitted to hiring the first to steal the farmer's land. Turns out Hope Tech wasn't doing all that well financially. In order to make more money, he started dabbling in other revenue options, one of which was to a fertilizer. However, that fertilizer killed off all the crops instead of helping them grow. Before they completely scratched the project, it was discovered that the fertilizer created a mineral-dense soil that was highly valuable. Ron had hired the first to acquire the farmland in order to harvest the soil without anyone knowing what he had done. He even told the members of the first how to steal a ship from him to throw off the trail for us rangers. Ron refused to refused to be brought in peaceably when we confronted him and so we had to kill him. It was somewhat unexpected. I thought he'd want to try turning the tables on us. Oh well, one more greedy CEO gone. The rich tastes good with barbecue sauce. After that confirmation, we returned to the marshal and received a, our full ranger status. We were gifted a pretty nice ship that has prison cells. Once we did that, we cleared out a few side quests, such as visiting Earth, where we received a snow globe at each location we visited, and we told Nadia with the SSNN all about Ron Hope's scheme, and then took a Jack, Jack's Ale to Sandra Fullerton. In today's episode, we're going to run around doing some side quests, starting with Beer Run. It might be a longer side quest, so let's get to work. Of course, we're here in Aquila City. Intellibuit is revolutionary. Why waste time with Erling when you can do so much good and make so many more credits? If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. That's a strange way to say hello. There's nothing wrong with brewing. Just check out any uh, any bar in town. Are things okay between you and your husband? That's a weird way to say oh, hello. Sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Gilburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. People have a right to lead their life the way they want. I mean, you're right, of course. But with a little more hard work, so much good can be done. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? There must be some way to resolve the impasse with Philburn Agriculture Systems. Well, there is. <sighs> the stakes are huge. With further R&D on Intelweet, the entire settled systems could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. I may be interested, depending on what you're talking about. That's reasonable. Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, Annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, his margins are tight enough he might be forced to throw in the towel. I won't poison anyone. What? Oh, God, no. I just want it to taste bad. Like stale, or like it's whatever makes beer taste worse. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. 
Then, just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that, and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. Alright, I guess we're gonna go sabotage some beer. You think she would just take and do her own bit of whatever. Batch 14 CHP 3. Note stone root in temperatures and everything. Um, we'll increase the temperature by 20 Celsius. Well, is that all I need to do? Apparently that's all I needed to do was one of those options. We'll see if increasing the temperature changed the brew enough to take throw off its taste. There's a cousin in the family that brews beer. I'm sure he's not going to be too happy about hearing about tampering with beer breweries. <sighs> it would suck to be on this hard bench for 24 hours. I think my butt's getting numb. Is there a hot beer out there? Everybody always talks about cold beer. Is there like a hot beer option for those who wants to like have a Hot drinkable beer. Be careful. This is a fall in some simple and high gravity. Thanks for the warning, Sammy. better way to travel through Aquila City. new batch. How'd it go over? I know you like Henry, but... What? There's something wrong? Sam said it tasted off. Really off. Gladys said it was fine. Then she dumped her whole glass on the floor when she thought I wasn't looking. No, oh, no. I don't think we should carry Henry's stuff anymore. Our regulars have stopped ordering his old stuff, too. Uh, I'll break the news to Henry. Woohoo! Lost a customer. Sarah's gonna make them lose all their customers. Jacob Co. out of retirement. Jacob, I know you're out of the game, but we could really use some help. 
The UC is growing bolder and you always had a way of negotiating around them, or even through them, to keep the Free Star ahead. I'm not asking you to come out of retirement. If you could work part-time or be a consultant, I'm sure we can agree what's fair compensation. I really need your help, old friend, even if it's me grabbing you a beer at the Stone Root so I could pick your brain. Thanks, Cartwright. You, you see that, CME? Yeah, I think Sarah's gonna cause them to lose all their money and then she won't be able to do anything. A shootout in Sidonia. Ooh, a shootout in Sidonia. to get his brother focused on food production instead of wasting time Henry's beer, beer has been taken care of something happened to Henry's beer that's terrible so terrible oh I but I'm sure I know nothing about it here's some credits for delivering the news I expect that's the last I'm seeing of you sure sure all right well I thought there would be more to that apparently not getting lost inside her house. So that, as I was saying, already took, that didn't take up any time at all. So we're gonna go do this other quest that's here in Aquila City. See if that's any fun. I was hoping they would have us like have to like mix something in the beer or something. I don't know. Oh well. Hello, Mr. Davis here Wilson. Think we own Aquila. They're wrong. The Asta do. Friend, I gotta confess. I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know. I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but, well, I can't seem to help it. Um, she was pretty out of line. It's none of my business. It all sounded pretty overblown. I thought she made some good points. What was that all about, anyway? Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things for years. No worries about the possible consequences and expect us to thank her for making our lives more difficult. I tell you, I've never seen entitlement like that. Um, she sound, it sounded pretty overblown. I assure you, it is not. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years, again, for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, <laughs> then you ask to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better, then those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. I'm sure she just wants to help. This ain't help. This is thinking you know better than the people that have done it for years. Decades even. It's just arrogance. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. 
Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. All right. So I guess I got to go talk to Peony Alpin. We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the ash stuff. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? Uh, you had a disagreement with Davis Wilson? Correction. Mr. Wilson has a disagreement with me. I can't tell if he's just being willfully ignorant or has just entirely misunderstood my proposals. I'm not sure what you've heard or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashton to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. I feel like I just got broadsided by the fine print. Do you know what the hell she just said? That doesn't clear anything up. Okay, well, I must need to work on my delivery because I keep having this problem. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact, just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to play some sensors for me? Sure, I can do that for you. That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability. Plausible deniability? Why? Alright. Placing sensors. We've done that before. For the tree guy in New Atlantis. Well, I guess I had to go collect his sensors, not place them. Alright. One down and looks like three to go. my helmet on thank you I have a nice hat do you like my hat oh where are you going I need to talk to you the sensors are pretty good I mean don't go using them as target practice and they're good to go all right Keone. you got some good news I hope I placed your sensors your sensors have been placed well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need no, to get in there I'm looking at and you. make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. I am not hacking the security computer. Oh no, I wouldn't think of asking you to do that. I'm gonna hack it, but I need you to get that guard away from it long enough for me to do it. I should only need a few moments, so I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Okay. 
I guess I'm gonna have to go distract the guard. Anybody wanna flash him? That always distracts a dude. I mean, I guess Sammy can do it if he's into dudes and not women. But, I mean, somebody can do it. Hi, security guy. What brings you to the wall? Boredom? Because if that's what you're looking for, you hit the jackpot. I can't get into it, but I need a few minutes here alone. It's for a good cause. I want to have a romantic date here. I was hoping for some privacy and discretion. I'm a free star ranger. I need you to leave the area temporarily. Is everything all right? Okay, okay, I I'm going. All right, that was easy enough. Bye, dude. I'll tell your boss you did a good job. Seriously, you're not already up here waiting. Get in there. Get in there. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. Didn't even have to show him nothing. No flashing needed. If you need any more laws broken, I'm game. This was not my proudest moment. You should tell the guards what you've done. Oh, I intend to. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them. Especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Alright. Well then. Guess I gotta wait 24 hours. Second chances don't come easy. It takes a lot of work, sometimes a lot of help, too. Okay. Hello. Can you imagine if you had this open air restaurant, how bad the dust would be inside your little restaurant all the time? Are we getting the food? Been here for all these hours and nobody's even asked me if I wanted a drink yet. Like I don't want anything from this place, but I mean they could have asked me. How rude. To not even acknowledge that I'm sitting here. Excuse me. Yes. What? Alright. Let's go talk to Keone. You need something to ease the pain, I can set you up. Wherever she might be. Oh, down there. Most folk prefer the jet. Hi. All right. Did someone really tamper with the data intentionally? I just don't see any other explanation. Mm. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I, I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. All right. I'm happy to help. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Yeah, yeah. Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. Maybe your tech isn't working properly? No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. 
It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something's going on. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Talk to Davis. All right. They're wrong. The Asta do. Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Keone thinks you're sabotaging her sensors. I hear there's something strange happening with the Ashta. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Keone is worried about the results she's getting. I'm just concerned Sinison looking for reassurance. Just tell me you're tampering if you're tampering with her data. She's worried the results. Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now. And suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. It's not Keone's fault. If she caused any problems, I'm sure she'll fi help fix them. Maybe that would explain the data she's getting. She should be a can help cannibal if she's put people in danger. That'll explain the data she's Maybe getting. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? I've dealt with meaner creatures than this. I'm in. Yeah, terramorphs. <laughs> and those siren yeah, thingies. Yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Give yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. Alright. Guess I'm gonna meet him at the East Gate. Vigilance is what keeps Aquila City safe. Alright. Ready to head out there? Yep, yep. As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, then. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And Can maybe I shoot we'll him? Get some answers. Is it alright if I just shoot him? I know your type. The freewheeling space ace. Must be nice. I got my big gun. This is what I'm talking about. These tracks, they're all wrong. The space and the depth. This doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. Somebody running around with an Ashta suit on? <laughs> you know, with fake Ashta feet? Like people looking for the Bigfoot claim all the time? The Ashta are clever, but they usually predict it. These tracks don't follow any other paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. Maybe they're just 
just tired of hearing all of the ships landing. Using a robot. Just like I said. Ash the Burrow. You feel him coming before you see him. Pretty sure they think they only know this game only knows how to make one type of female child. Can you run, Davis? Just go a little faster. Beyond the wall is no day trip. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Cause I'm awesome. Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? Well, Keani's not responsible. Listen, I'm no use to anyone if I'm No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over. See if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Okay. I thought we were in the city. Like, where the hell did you take me? Some guy who had a huge crush on Keone or something. 
and thought that he was going to help her by doing this. And up there, huh? Space. Must be cool. Yeah. I never get to go to space. It is cool. I'm just awesome like that. notes. We'll leave there. Read that first. Today's notes. A small pack of Ashta on North Ridge. Another fight at Aggie's. Two people in lockup until they sleep it off. Little Miss Emily caught an actual pickpocket. Gave her a sticker. Didn't go over well. I'm not six, she said. Almost had a shootout by the spaceport. Not quite sure what was up with that. No one's pressing charges. I want more information about that. Anyway, equipment check out. Today's log. Repaired sidearm, Wilson D. Canteen, Wilson D. Baton, Levita Q. Or O. I can't read it. If anyone can find El Mito's helmet, there will be a reward. It has a picture of his son on it. So it has sentimental value. All. Let's see. Robot updates. Last entry, Kirkland B. All right, so Kirkland. Data. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Okay, Bailey. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> he's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Huh. I checked the security logs. I know what you did. Damn it. I thought I deleted those. You didn't. Look, People getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. If my pockets were weighed down with credits, I might not be to need to take this to Davis. Sounds like it's time to start looking for a new job. I'll ask Davis to go easy on you. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. I don't know. Davis is a stand-up guy. And however dumb your actions were, the reasons weren't. But you might want to update your resume just in case. Alright. Did it because he was stressed and wanted to mess up the data. But, it proves that her little sensors are helpful. We need to get to the bottom of it. Hey, Davis. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? Yep. Kirkland said she did it to make your life easier. Said Keone was affecting your job performance. You serious? Oh, Bailey. What were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. Well, I'm out to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much, not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpha some time to get clean data. Might be a research, 
well, it might prove useful. Well, I'm glad you finally agreed and stopped being so hard-headed. Uh, I guess I gotta wait I another 24 hours. I can't believe Brady did such a bonehead move. Jim's inventory. You need a magnifying glass for it. Yeah, it's I need to find a seat or a bed or somewhere to sit for 24. Step right in, ma'am, and feast oh, your eyes on marvelous attractions of honor. Nasty couch. Hope right there's no bed bugs in it. So this quest has been a little bit longer, but boring. Of course, you think Sammy would just take me back to his parents' house and I could stay there and not have to be on this stinky old couch, but no. We gotta be on this stinky old couch because he don't want to go talk to his dad. Alright, back to Kiani. Creatures, great and small, not a How's it going? Technologies are living things. They move, they change. The way we handle Ashto works for now. So we have to be prepared. Hey, how you been? Staying out of trouble? Sure, sure. Unless I go looking for it. Well, whatever gets you through the day. I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Things here have been, well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. I'm glad the two of you are getting along. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. He's just doing his job. If you were really worried, you'd go talk to him. I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. I suppose. Gravity's a bitch. No, tell you different. Yeah, yeah, Sammy, I know. Bailey's on thin ice. One more mistake and she's out of a job. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after. Davis, I'm hurt. I kind of get that a lot. You might want to see a doctor about that. 
Maybe I will. Let's see where this goes. So what can I do for you? Kiani thinks you're spending too much time on patrol. We're worried about how much time you're outside the walls. If looking to get yourself killed, there are easier ways than letting the ash to do it. Right to the point, then. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. If you need help, you can just ask. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people would pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Do you think there's some other creature out there? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in a fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I'll give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right, I guess we're going to go hunting a, a big one. I'm geared up. Let's get out All there. Right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But she seems to me that might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And uh, don't even tell her I said that. But you want it going to her head. Alright, here we are. Let's head this way I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila I had totally forgotten about it till recently every so often we get independent types of thinking they can succeed where everyone else has failed some of them stride off into the wilderness certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history mining, botany stuff whatever Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time, Miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claims he seen an ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all say he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss and he stroke. Maybe you really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? Well, oh, there he is. That's an alpha. This time that was target practice. Big one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. Well, if you hadn't been with I me, had more no confidence than you. Right now. Never thought there'd be a day when I say the Davis Wilson. That was fun. Let's do it again. Well, I hope that puts your mind at ease. I mean, it does and it doesn't, you know. We got out alive this one time. That's good. This ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. I don't want to leave you out here. 
Don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. Alright. I'm glad I do not have to follow you back. And as long as Achilles City has been here, how has no one else seen this? Like, more people should just be known. It didn't make me wait another 24 hours to tell her. Is that some oh. sort of stunt gone wrong? Or? Yeah, well, I didn't mean to drop on her. Data should be more careful. The data shows the Ashta are more active. There was an so, alpha. What happened? Davis and I found a new kind of Ashta and killed it. Your data wasn't a mistake. It helped us find a new kind of Ashta. Davis said your help was critical in keeping Aquila City safe from a new Ashta threat. No, he didn't. There's no way Davis would say that, even if it's true. But it is true, isn't it? My data was accurate. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Probably. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Better not let it go to your head. Do you mind, lady? That was rude. Don't worry. I am sufficiently humbled. Well, for now. I need to get to work on this immediately. But... While I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. Oh, is that right? I thought it was funny. Uh, now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again. A gun. And what else does she give me? Respondent assassin gun. It's not bad. All right. What are you sitting up against the wall, Sammy? Are you becoming a working man on the streets? Anyway, well, my feline friends, we're going to go ahead and end episode here. Thank you for joining me today. In today's episode, please like and subscribe for some more shenanigans tomorrow. Goodbye.